everyone. I just wanted to reach out and say thank you so much for everyone commenting such wonderful things, such beautiful things on the video I did. Um, I felt really clumsy and awkward, but it was a lot of fun putting it together. And then it was just so special and so sweet that you all reassured me that you thought I did a great job and that you knew Wendy, Wendy would be proud. And that meant a lot to me. I can't even tell you. And to hear you guys react to my own stories with your own stories, it really touched my heart. I really, really am praying for each and every single one of you. And I hope that we can all continue this journey on together and um, make jewelry together and just have each other to be there, you know? kind of a little online confidant. I'm always available. You can always reach out to me. You can find my personal Facebook. It's just my name. I'm pretty much the only Jody Kronz in the entire universe, I'm sure. Um, so just find me. You can be my friend. Um, we can talk. And I look forward to meeting you and talking more to you all. And enjoy this next video. I'm gonna try to make another necklace like this one for you guys that I just made recently. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna make another one of these for you guys. See you soon. Hi everyone, um, I'm back and I am going to make another necklace. Um, I made this one over the last couple days. Uh, really pretty heart pendant with browns and greens all the way through and some metal pieces. It was a lot of fun to make and it actually looks really cute on. Um, I think I would have liked this to be a little bit longer so I'll probably add an extension chain to it. Uh, so we'll get started with that and I'm going to go through and show you what I'm going to be using today. So I'm not sure how you say it. I probably should have looked at the <clears throat> Excuse me, I probably should have looked at the um, uh, the pronunciation of this stone. So this is a 49 millimeter uh, pierdesite heart pendant. Anyone familiar with that? It's really, really pretty and it's just kind of like an offset heart. I found it on this Etsy store and the person who um, sells some beads and some beautiful pendants, she has some really gorgeous hand carved crosses and everything. Anyway, it's called the Bead Bandit and if you just go to Etsy and you can type in the Bead Bandit and she has all kinds of things. Um, she actually is having a clearance sale right now and I actually got this 75% off. So it was really a good find and I just love the colors in it. It's kind of brown but golden but coppery and it's just gorgeous and I hope you can see the colors in this. It's just beautiful. So we're going to use that. Um, we're also going to use some really cute little ceramic blue beads which I love these beads. They're so pretty. And I just got these at Michael's. Michael's just, you know, went through and revamped a lot of their beads. And this was one of the new ones that they got. And I love it. Of course, I have some beads that were from Beadbox Bargains or Bargain Beadbox, whatever their sister store is. Um, I'm going to use these. I love these little, like, I don't know, kind of bicone-ish. What are these called? I don't even remember but I have some of those. I'm gonna use some check glass. I have some shell and coconut spacers that I just wanna use in between some of the beads that I'm going to be using. And I also pulled out these really cool little carved bone beads because I think I might wanna use some of them, but I'm not sure. Um, so I pulled them out just in case. And then I have a nice little assortment of things. These all came together on like one bead string, like one whole bead strand. And these were also at Michael's and they have it in silver and this really pretty antique bronze or antique copper. 
And these are actually really light. They're um, like a acrylic or something like that. These have, these are metal. So they're a little bit heavier, a little bit chunkier, but they're really cool looking. And then they have all these like really light um, rings too that are really nice. I like those. So we're gonna use all of that. And I have a large lobster clasp with a heart on it because I had to stay with the little theme there. And a little bit of this really cute chunky chain that I'm gonna use the links out of just to extend the necklace a little bit. All right, and I'm going to use some wire. I have this wire and it's um, 20 millimeter and we don't need much because the only thing we're gonna use this for is to make the bail for the um, heart pendant. And of course I have a bunch of eye pins that we're gonna to use to connect our links. All right, so we're just gonna get started. I'm going to lay my necklace out here so I can remember what I did and we'll get started. So the first thing that I want to do is I'm gonna clear myself a little workspace here. Move all my stuff aside that I don't need. I have my pendant and I have my wire. So what I did was I went through the hole with my wire, just like that. And just like if you were going to wire wrap this, I brought the two pieces up like so. And I'm bringing the long one in just a little bit and then the short one right here. And then I am just going to just wrap a couple times around my fingers. I don't want to make this wrap too big. I just want to secure what I'm doing. Okay, so like that. And I have my tools here somewhere. I have them buried underneath a pile of stuff because I've been um, kind of cleaning up a little bit, but not enough cleaning up to make a difference. And I'm just going to make sure that that, that is secure. And I'm gonna trim off that little chunk of wire there. Throw in my little garbage. And then just make sure that's not poking out to get caught on anyone's skin or clothing. I feel like I need a new pair of pliers really bad. I've seen those like little tweezer pliers and I am so tempted on getting some new tools. I've had the same tools since day one and not that they're not great, they're amazing, but I am wanting an upgrade. Just a little upgrade. I don't think that's asking for much. All right, and then the one thing I didn't do is I forgot to grab my little spacer. I just really needed one tiny little spacer bead that will kind of just hold the spot here, but won't be such a big deal. So I'm gonna feed that on there. Maybe. Oh my goodness. I don't have my glasses. I think they're in the living room somewhere and I, I'm wondering if I can get through this video without them. I'm gonna try my best and if I have to, I will pause it and come back and <laughs> with my glasses on so I can see. All right, so I am going to start making the bail and I wanna make it a little bit bigger. So I want it to be about here. And then it's kind of weird, so you just, you're gonna do it like you're making a wrap loop, but you're going to keep your um, wire, just keep twisting it like onto your um, round nose pliers. And then you'll have to just finagle it to where you can turn it again and keep turning it around your pliers. So it will have to come back out and go back in, but since you've started it in that one spot, it'll be that size. So you can keep going 
in and out. And I'm only gonna do it like three times because I just want like a three, I don't know if you can see it, like just three little loops there. So now that I did that, I'm gonna just stick my pliers back in there. I do want to make another wrap right here around the bottom of that. And I'm gonna leave them right here on these pliers because I don't want to squish them with my chain nose pliers or um, make them bend out of shape. So I'm just gonna leave it like that and I'm just going to switch my hand so I can use my wrapping hand and I'm just going to wrap right above that bead snugly so that it doesn't go anywhere and just a few times. It doesn't have to be much. It's not gonna go anywhere once you get it going. And then come around to the back so we can trim it off. All right, so then you can trim that off. I know I learned how to do this on somebody's tutorial and oh my gosh, I cannot even remember who it was. And I feel so bad because I would really love to give that person a shout out. Um, so whoever you were who did a video with these, making these bales recently, Thank you, thank you so much. And I love making them. I think they're so wonderful. Um, and honestly, like I can spend my money on beads versus pails. <laughs> so that's, I like to do this. So then I just kind of stuck my nail in there just to kind of straighten it out and maybe give it a little space in between. I'm trying to make sure I'm on the camera here. I don't know if you guys can see that okay. All right, so that's done. It's cute. And I'm just gonna set that aside for now. And we're gonna work on our links. So I have my head pins here and I want to create my links to be, um, some are just beads with some spacers and some are just beads and then some are the metal pieces together. So I'm going to pull out a few things and I kept it very much the same on both sides, which you definitely don't have to. And I usually don't really care about doing that, but for some reason, I just felt like I wanted it that way for this, for this particular piece. All right, so we're gonna make four of these. And that one's got like a weird little bump on it. I don't like that. So we're gonna make four like that, and we'll just get started. So I have all these head pins when, I don't know if you guys remember, but it was like maybe um, February or March, Hobby Lobby was having like a huge clearance sale and they had so much stuff marked down 75% off. And I went in there just by chance the one day and I walk back there to the jewelry stuff because that's where I first beeline to is all the beads and all the little bindings and everything. So I go back there and I'm like, oh my goodness, look at all these clearance tags. And they were everywhere. And I'm like, okay, well, there's not very many beads on clearance, which is fine because I had plenty, but I really wanted a chance to stock up on my findings. And I pretty much bought every head pin and eye pin they had. Um, every ear wire they had. Um, they even had some of the Coriana type chain like in the packages. And so I bought a few of those. There wasn't much, they only had it in gold in my location. So, but I, I just bought so many things, a lot of clasps and um, some jump rings, some of the heavier duty jump rings that I like. All right, and we're just going to make a um, regular loop. We're not gonna do a, a round loop or anything. So I just bent my, that's not a very good bend. I just bent my eye pin over. Let me straighten that back out here. Sorry guys. All right, so that wasn't a very good one. All right, so I'm just bending my eye pin straight over. Has anybody else ever struggled with this? Or is it just me? <laughs> and we don't need much and 
I know this I definitely learned from Wendy is how much you really need. I remember she's like, you don't need very much, just right about where your finger is. So I clip it off there and leave that tiny little piece. And then I'm trying to match around the same size as what I already have on my iPad. And so I'm just taking the end and twisting back until I have a loop. Oh, and that's a really sad looking loop. Good thing this is for me. All right, so <laughs> it's a very sad looking loop. And you can fix it. And I can tell that I might have to go get my glasses. <laughs> All right, anyway, so we'll leave that one because that one's for me. Actually, you know what? I'm going to scratch that one because it's just awful. So I'm <laughs> I'm not going to have my mistakes taken out of the video. Just like Wendy, we all have things that we start over on and we all like have things that we don't care for that we end up making and we're not real thrilled with. So let's just try it again. And I think I need to give it a little more... A little extra um, like it needs to be firmer right here on the end I can't think of my words today I'm just having a struggle so all right let's try this one more time so I've got it pulled down nice and tight and I'm just gonna because these are kind of a little bit softer I'm just gonna bend it straight over with my fingers I can control it better that way and then I'm going to cut that little piece off all right and back to make my loop and just kind of straighten it out a little bit there let's see that's much better that's much better I just need to close it up a little bit looks good all right so we got that one done and they are going to have a little bit of jiggle room and a little movement which I'm okay with because I like it when jewelry has um, some movement to it and I haven't even been checking. I hope that I am really on the screen for everybody. All right, so I'm gonna do the, the metal piece next. And we're just gonna make a few of these on camera here. And then I will uh, cut you guys loose for a little bit so you don't have to sit here and watch me make all of them. I'm gonna use some of my little coconut pieces for this guy. So, and I like, I really, really, really like these. So I like spacers, but I don't typically like anything um, that's too, I like shiny, but not too shiny. You know what I mean? And when I'm doing some of my jewelry, I like the muted tones a lot of times. I love sparkle, don't get me wrong, I really do. But I also just really love these calm, earthy kind of tones. It's some of my favorite, um, which is really strange because my favorite color in the whole world is pink, but I hardly ever make anything pink. It's crazy. I don't know what it is. All right, so we're going to go ahead and make this link. All right. And you know, I love all pinks. I love like bubblegum pink, hot pink, Barbie pink, whatever you want to call any pink, I love them all. They're, every single one is my favorite color and I would love to have everything in my house that color, but I'm pretty sure my husband would um, not be thrilled about that. He Pink is not his favorite color. <laughs> so, um, and now I'm just gonna make my loop again for this one, okay. Okay, and we're gonna do one more on camera here, and I am I am seriously struggling with these. I made them just fine the other night, and I was just zipping right through them, and everything was wonderful, but tonight, probably because I'm on camera, I am not doing as well as I'd hope. <laughs> Did you ever have one of those days where you just it doesn't matter what's going on. It doesn't seem to want to work out the way you want it to work out. That's the kind of day I've had all day today. Everything at work um, was like that. It was very um, hectic 
and nothing was going smooth um, for the first part of the day. But as the afternoon went on, things started kind of evening out and I was able to catch up on some stuff. And it's really exciting because we're getting ready to do, um, we get, have a yearly home show. And I work for a, I work in accounting, but I work for a hardwood flooring and supply company. And it's really wonderful because we get a chance to meet customers, we get a chance to meet homeowners, and um, we have some really great vendors that we work with. And all in all, it's just a really fantastic company to work for, and I'm really happy to be there. Um, and the ladies in the office all love my jewelry too, so that's usually what they get. They get surprised with jewelry on their desk when they come in because I'm I'm an up and up and early girl and I'm there <laughs> so early in the morning just to get started. All right, we're gonna make one more here on the camera and then I am going to pause it and I will make some more and that way you guys don't have to sit here and watch them all. But now I'm gonna try to make one on camera and really show you. This one's gonna be really good, guys. I have a really good feeling about this. So we're gonna use this little um, check glass bead here to make one of our links. And I just want it to be the single bead, no frills, no anything else. That's all I want it to be. So I am going to just bend my wire over, my head pin wire, I'm sorry, eye pin wire over. And I am going to make my little space, cut the end off. And I feel good about this. Here it goes, you ready? It's gonna be good. And I just twist the end back to make a loop. And look at that, almost, almost perfect, guys. Almost perfect. I just gotta close off. See that little space right there? We never wanna leave a little space like that because it would come apart. So I just wanna close that off a little bit. There, you know what? I feel pretty good about that one. That one worked out pretty darn nice. All right, I'm gonna pause this and I'm going to make some of these little bing, uh, bead links and then I'll be back and we'll do some putting together the necklace. All right. Okay, I am back everyone and I have all my little connectors here. They're really pretty together, but I keep debating if I should maybe throw in a couple of little ivory bone beads. They're so pretty, and I'm wondering if I should just do that as well with maybe the little blue spacers. And you know what? I think I'm going to because there's some blue in here and there's some green in here, and I'm sorry, but that looks really cute together. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick while I have you guys here with me. So I'm just going to... Uh, Ooh, make a mess on my little scraps. I can't just let the scraps fly because you know my cats love to come into my craft room and I'm just so afraid that they're gonna like eat them <laughs> and then I'll be going to the vet and that won't be fun. So I don't wanna do that and I don't want them to get hurt in any kind of way. So I am just going to string some of these on and I think that that's gonna look really pretty in there together. All right, so we're going to go ahead and make our little loop. So this one might be a little bit longer than my other one, which is quite fine with me. Just needed that little pop of ivory in there. And I'll use this one. I just realized that they have different little carvings on them. There, one has like little circles and one has like little X's and it's really cute. I really like these. I really, I really, really like the bone beads. They're so nice. It's just, I know that they can be really pricey unless you can find a really good deal um, for them. And unfortunately I don't, you know, I'm just a, a hobbyist, right? I don't have like a business license or anything like that. So I won't be, getting any wholesale um, anything <laughs> unless I can find just like clearance somewhere that I can buy everything they have. So I am 
I'm going to make my last one here. And then we'll get ready to put our beaded chain together. The one thing I found that I, you know, watching the deals, like, I don't know how you guys are, but I get alerts, you know, for different craft stores. Like I know I get texts and emails from Joann's and from Michael's. Um, don't get anything from Hobby Lobby because they don't do that. That's just not their thing. But um, unless it is and I, maybe I'm missing out, someone can let me know. Um, but I pay attention to all this stuff. And last week or the week before, Joann's had all their strong beads uh, on sale three for 10. So now you guys know that that's a pretty outstanding deal, especially because some of the beads can be a $10 for a strand. Um, these are considered a bead. They're not, it's chain basically. But I got this length of chain. I got three sets for 10 bucks. And I love just taking it apart and using it as little links. And so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna actually use two links this and this and this and this on each side. So I'm just gonna open this one jump ring that is holding these guys together here. And if it's a sturdy enough jump ring, I'll, I'll just use it, but it looks like it's got a really big space, so I may not. Here are my other pliers. And we're just gonna open that up and just take that off there. And there's my one side. And then we'll do the other. And then look, I still have a couple little links left over and make a cute bracelet. Um, so I probably will do that out of it. Just finding the opening and just twist. And I'm just gonna pop that right off there. And those are really bendy. So I don't think I wanna use those jump rings again. So I'm just gonna put them in my little these two will be fine because you know what, this is for me. So if if I wear something and I have something that falls apart, I know I can take it home to fix it. So it's gonna be fine. All right, so what we're gonna end up doing is, and I hope I can, you can see what I'm doing here. I'm gonna make some room. All right, so we're gonna just lay this out like so. I think I want those down below here because they're the only ones. And I just want this to be kind of not, I, I wanna make sure that you can see like pretty much all the colors, but that's not gonna happen. So we're gonna do our best. And if you're wearing your hair up, I guess, I guess it would work. Okay, so now you see that that's what we're gonna do and you're probably wondering, no, how did we do this? This part, right? Well. You can do it with a wire. I just used an eye pin. So I'm gonna show you what I ended up doing. So knowing that I really want all my colors to show, I do have these blue ones, but they're gonna be up here higher. So I don't think they're gonna show as much. So I'm thinking I would like to have them really close to this little heart. So I'm going to feed that one on and I'm going to feet on my heart. Now I made the other one much bigger, but you don't have to, you can make it small, you can make it, you can make it small, you can make it big. And I just realized I was totally off camera. So let me start that over. <laughs> so I'm gonna use this eye pin instead of some wire. So I'm going to feed that on. And like so. And you can make this as wide as you want, you know, as big as you want or as small as you want. I just want it to be just a little bit and I'm just gonna give it like a little, just a little bend, not much, just a little rounded bend, see like so. And then I'm going to make my loop on this other end here. So I'm just going to bend that, trim it off. And about there. And make my loop. I 
There we go. Now I got it. All right. So now I have that. And now I can just kind of reshape that, make sure I have it kind of rounded up like I wanted it to be. And I am just going to connect these directly on with each other. So I'll do that real quick and while we're talking. And before you know it, this necklace will be done. All right, so one thing I'm kind of curious about, everyone, if you had one place that you could go to and like a vacation, okay? So let's say vacation. One vacation that you could go on that you could book right now and you didn't have to worry about, you know, how much it was gonna cost for you to get there, how much it was gonna cost for you to stay somewhere. Where would you go? I am really curious because I know <laughs> I have a list of places that I would love to see in my lifetime. And, um, you know, I've seen a lot of the states and I've only been out of the country once and it was Canada. And so I don't feel like that counts for me because I live in Michigan and Canada is like right here, you know? So um, of course it counts. I went to Niagara Falls and it was beautiful, but I mean like really out of the country. And I know that there are some people who have been able to do that. And I think that is so amazing. And I love to hear all the stuff that they've experienced and everything when they come back. Um, one of my friends just went over to Germany and while she was there, she also went to Italy and Rome and uh, she had a fantastic time and I was so excited to hear about everything and my best friend actually, she's gone to Iceland twice and she loves Iceland. So that that's a place that I wouldn't mind visiting. But my big one and we're actually planning it for hopefully our 10 year anniversary which isn't for another like five years or so um we want to go to japan and we know that going to japan would be probably a two-week vacation um, and we don't want to just go to a city or two and stay there we want to go visit the countryside we want to see the villages we want to uh, see it, all the scenery and we're debating on whether we want to go when the weather is nice or when we want to go when, um, during cherry blossom season because then it's going to be a little bit chillier and here's the other deal like we are probably odd we do not like staying in hotels um, they're nice hotels are great but we like complete um privacy, just like we would at home. You know, we have our own space that if we want to cook, we can cook or we can go out to eat. It doesn't really matter, but we stay at Airbnbs. So we were looking, um, I don't know, a couple weeks ago and looking at Airbnb possibilities in Japan. And a lot of them are like the traditional Japanese home, homes with like the little rice paper um, doorways, like little doors that you can kind of, kind of see through, but not really. And they have the little tiny, the little flat beds and the, you know, the little table that you sit at on a pillow or, you know, whatever. We, we want to stay at all those places. I don't know how I'm going to get up off the floor, um, but I'll figure it out. Uh, but we just want to experience all of that. And of course, the one big thing that's on my list when we go to Japan is ever since I was a little girl, I've been obsessed with Hello Kitty. And I know Tokyo has a gigantic Hello Kitty store and I had to go. So I will definitely have to be there. And anyone who is my age knows that if you were into Hello Kitty, you had Hello Kitty everything. And it was just the, the best like little school supplies and everything. I remember getting like the little erasers and pencils and all that stuff. And it was just fantastic. All right, so that's my long-winded fantasy of what I wanna do with my next vacation. I mean, we really, that's gonna be our big one. Next spring, we are going down to the Keys. Um, that's gonna be a lot of fun. I've never been that far down in Florida. And of course, that's when I was going to try to meet up with, with Wendy. 
Um, so now I just got to go down there and, um, you know, maybe I can meet Joey and Chris and um, anyone else who's in Florida. You know, maybe we can have some lunch or something and or go to the beach in honor of Wendy. That would be so nice. I'm, I love the beach, so I'm, I'd be good with that. All right, so I'm gonna finish this chain here. We're getting close to being done. And I'm sorry, if it looks like I'm shaky, I am. Sometimes I get like a little shaky. And I, it, it's probably not really medical. It's probably just, I'm a little bit hungry. <laughs> So it's nothing to be alarmed about, but I probably should eat something soon. But I wanted to do this quickly before I do that. All right, so we're just making our chain. And you know, you know what, you guys, this would be a great way to maybe take up some of your, um, your extra beads that you don't have a lot of. You know, your little stash of like, onesies, twosies, you know, your bead soup. This would be a really fun necklace to do with your bead soup. Find that one focal that you love and just use your bead soup and just load it up and it would be so cool. And you know, who cares about like the colors even too? Cause you know, once you put all those colors together, they're gonna look fabulous. I am, I am so in love with color, even though I do love like all my earth tones just putting a little tiny punch of like another color in there really just, I don't know, it does something to it. All right, so let's finish this up. And I, I can't believe September is almost over. We're looking at getting ready for a month end at work. And before you know it, it's going to be Thanksgiving time, which I love. But then right after that, it's like, boom, 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 it's Christmas. <laughs> it happens so fast. And of course, you know, we have, you know, four, four kids. We have lots of nieces and nephews. Um, and all the kids except for one have significant others. And, you know, we have our parents and it, it's a lot. It really is a lot, but it's just so nice. And I am going to be making a lot of um, things this year for gifts. So I already have some ideas. Um, I know like for my friends who are readers, I've seen some really cute uh, bookmark tutorials out there that I would really love to make. So I'm probably gonna start buying the things for those and um, really make some cute bookmarks for some readers. Um, I made some like the what it was called, like the little dream catchers or not really dream catchers, but they're like a, oh my gosh, why am I having such a hard time with my words today, you guys? Sun catcher, that's what it is, sun catcher. And I found some really cute, like the wire shapes to, um, to make them. So like I can make moons, I can make stars and hearts and even just round circles. They're really cool. So I'm probably going to do that for some people. And then of course for, you know, um, the ladies, I probably make them like a little set, a cute little set. And for the guys, I will definitely make some nice manly, either stretch bracelets or leather bracelets. And hopefully maybe that's something that we can look forward to is finding some of these things that you can just bust out like a bunch of them. And if you work in an office or in a um, retail setting, and you have a lot of people that you work with that you would love to get them gifts, then you could make them all something really cute. And you could even make it so they all have the same gift, you know, and it's kind of fun, but just, you know, different based on their colors or their personalities. So that'd be a lot of fun. All right, so I'm putting on my links. And I'm gonna close up that jump ring here. Okay, till it clicks. Don't hear it clicking. There we go, I felt it. All right, and then we just have a few more beads to put on. 
And you know, I don't think I grabbed my other jump rings and I cannot believe I did that. All right. Okay, finishing this up. And of course you could probably even dangle something cute inside this little ring here. That would be adorable. Maybe even like a, um, a pretty little charm or something, just, you know, in one of them or in both of them. That would be really pretty. So I, um, I said last time I was gonna put my necklace on a bus and I didn't, I completely forgot about it. I think I was too excited. So um, and somebody called me out um, in the comments and I'm like, oops. So I will do my best to remember to do that this time. That way you can actually see what it looks like. Or I could even put it on myself and turn my phone around and you can see what it looks like on a person. I, would, I can definitely do that, which I think that would be fun. That way I can see what it looks like on me too. So I think I might do that. All right, guys, we are almost done. And I think I just have to jump away for a sec. Oh wait, no, there's some jump rings. I got some jump rings right here. I thought I was all prepared too. I even had my little trays ready with you know little beads in them and everything. All right, I need my clasp and I'm gonna use one of these rings to, um, to do it. All right, let me just grab that. Okay, so the rings that I showed you early at the beginning of the video, those were on that one strand I was telling you about that came with all these things. They're really lightweight, but they're all the way, there's no openings, so I really like them. They're fun to use as um, your ring for your clasp. So I use them a lot. All right, gonna close that up. Grab another jump ring. And my giant lobster clasp. Up. If you guys are looking for these big lobster clasps, they there's a great deal on Amazon for them. You can get, I believe it's, I think it's 80 pieces and it's assorted colors. So you get all the metal colors for like $9.99 and it's prime, so you'll get it fast. I gotta fix that, I don't know why it's doing that. So you get it super, super fast. But yeah, it's a great deal. And I do like using these larger clasps. I know that I have a hard time with the tiny ones. Um, I even like the one size down from that. Like I think it's the 12 millimeter ones. Those are really nice. But see, the, they're a good size. They're big as my one joint of my middle finger there. And I like them because they just, they're so much easier to use. Especially if you have like maybe arthritis or anything like that. All right, so there's the necklace. Look at how pretty that is. Super pretty. All right, I'm going to pause this and I'm going to put it on me and then I'll show you guys what it looks like on me. All right. Okay, so here it is and it's shorter. So I think I actually kind of like it. Um, I think I might make it longer or maybe just add extenders so I have the option to wear it short or long. Um, not really sure if I like the placement of the bone beads right here. Um, I think I would like them better if they were somewhere centered so I might do a little changing around. But overall, it's really cute. It's really pretty and you can see all the blues and everything just looks really nice with it. At least I think so anyway. Okay, everyone, well, I hope you had fun, and if you have any questions about where I got some of the stuff, please let me know. I can probably remember the links and get them over to you. Um, yeah, just let me know. And have a great day, and I hope you have a great rest of the week and a beautiful weekend. Bye, guys.